Hello and welcome. Please read the problem, pause the video, and try it on your own. You can do it. Okay, so let's read this problem together. It says, what number does the expression below equal? So here we're going to try to reduce this expression, take away all the complexity, and find a number that's equivalent to it. So we, first of all, I'm going to look at this piece right here. We have 2 to the 6th over 2 to the 3rd. So here, right, we have 2 to the 6th, which is 6 twos being multiplied, over 3 twos being multiplied. So I'm going to write this out because I, you know, like many people see this and might think, well, that's a half, right? Uh, excuse me, that's 2, right? They think 2 to the 6th is twice as many twos as 2 to the 3rd, so altogether this will divide to 2. But that doesn't work that way. It's not that nice because here we're multiplying these numbers. So we have to think multiplicatively here. What I mean is, when you set this whole thing up, you can see that um, these three twos in the numerator will cancel out with these three twos here. That's really 2 times 2 times 2, 8, divided by 2 times 2 times 2, 8. 8 divided by 8 is just 1. That cancels out. And what's left over are these three twos here. So that, of course, is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Or you could write that in exponential form, and what would that get you? 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the third. With division, if the bases are the same, you can subtract the exponents here. You could have said 6 minus 3 is 3. So this is 2 to the third. So far, we have 8 for one of the terms, minus this scary-looking thing right here. Well, 3 to the negative second to the negative first. Well, what if I had, let's just look at this for a second. What if I had 3 squared to the third? What would I do? Well, this is saying this third right here is applying to the 3 and the second power. So it's really like saying 3 squared times 3 squared times another 3 squared. All of these put together is uh, 3 to the 6th because we have 6 3's. We're multiplying here. 2 here, 2 here, and 2 here. And what the, the really beautiful shortcut is, of course, is that these two exponents, 2 times 3, multiply to 6. And that's not a coincidence. That's a universal law of exponents. If you have something in parentheses to another power, you can multiply those exponents. So what? Well, here, to think of this, it's really overwhelming, right? But what is negative 2 times negative 1? Well, 2 negatives multiplied is just a positive. So that means that 3 to the negative second to the negative first is really the same as 3 to the second, right? Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. And that's 8 minus 9, which is negative 1. Our answer here. Thanks.